everybody. It is Friday. You're watching CBS.com. I'm your host, Gretchen Massey. And I'm Bunky, and we'd love to have you call us at 323-CBS-1000. Because, of course, today we have, again, the most recently evicted all-star from the Big Brother house. We all know who that is. But before we get to her, before we get to the calls, let's take another look at last night's live episode and watch the eviction take place. Watch this. <laughs> there you have it. Too. Please welcome Diane. Diane. Diane, welcome. So sorry to see you I here. I know. I'm like happy and upset to see you all at the same time. <laughs> now, Diane, you didn't seem surprised at all. No, no. Not at all. Nope, nope. Not shocked at all. I knew it was coming, unfortunately. See, I, I was thinking that there was, by some chance, I really thought that the votes were starting to swing your way, or that at the very least it would be a tie, which I guess wouldn't have helped you because Janelle and you don't right. exactly see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. But I, were you surprised at the, the voting breakdown? Um, I was surprised by that one vote, you know, I was like, I knew it was going to be unanimous, and then when I got that one extra vote, I was like, wait a minute, what the did, did, did you know who voted? Did you, think it was? did you know who gave you the vote? No, I was completely clueless, and then I found out last night that it was Will? Yes. Yeah, why, it was Will. Why, why Will? And nobody knows, because, because Will and I, you know, have like a pretty good relationship, and I think that... He was just sending a statement that, yeah, I really like Diane and I want to throw her my vote, you know, right. and I'll do what I want to do and you people can't tell me otherwise. What so. did you think about Janelle's um, goodbye message when she said that it was the best, it was, that it was based on strategy because you had said it was personal. So what did you think about yeah. it? Was that, I thought it was a bit of a cop out. I think it was the biggest cop out I have heard so far in the four weeks that I was in that house. And, you know, whatever you got to do to save face, I guess, in Big Brother All-Stars seems to be the running strategy. Yeah, you were always on the defense. You never really had time to actually come out and attack somebody because you were always in react mode. How's that feel? I'm so glad that you see that because people are like, why didn't you play the game? And I'm like, because when they're in power and you're not and you're their number one target, you can't. You have to be quiet and hope that for some odd reason they don't throw you up on the block. So it was like an, an uphill battle for me for four weeks straight. It really sucked and there was not a day that I ever felt safe in that house. Yeah, and being on the block it twice, sucked. I mean a lot happened to you in those four weeks. And I heard last night when you were talking to Julie about the Mr. and Mrs. Smith alliance, because uh -huh. we questioned Jace about that when he was here. And what did he, he say about that? I'm dying to know. We're not telling you. We he, want to hear your answer first. <laughs> he tried, and okay, last night you, with Julie, you said you heard about it, but you didn't know. You weren't a part of it, right? Yeah. But did you hear the rumors in the house? Yeah, the rumors started um, second week of the game, I'm sure, and Janelle started it because when I was on the block, I went to Jace late one evening in the bedroom, and I said, Jace, do I have your vote to stay in the house? I need to know. And right at I was, like, right there in the dark talking to Jace, and guess who pops around the corner? Janelle. Next thing I know, the very next day, all of a sudden, this rumor is more heavily talked about. And, right. And from that part on, I went on. But, um... Jace had mentioned something about it in the backyard, and I was like, okay, and then he immediately broke away from me, and I was like, wait, don't don't go yet, what are you talking about? And that was all that was said, and I'm like... And then he never talked to you about it again. Yeah, so if it was an alliance, I'm not sure if I was right. even part of it, Like, and I couldn't even act on it because I didn't know what he wanted to do with it. It right. would have been totally fun and cool. Yeah, I was going to say, that is such Great a shame, name. because <laughs> yes, it is a good name, and you two, would have it would have been nice to see you guys pair up secretly and go farther. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But part of me still didn't trust him, you know? Yeah. I don't, he's one of those guys that, you know, he'll either give you all of his trust or he'll lie to your face. Who did you trust? The only person you trusted was Nokomis? Um, yeah, Nokomis, for the most part, was the only one. And then after she left, um, most of my trust went to James. It's a lonely feeling, isn't it? It's the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> I know. And I'm an independent person, and that was the worst four weeks of my life. Yeah. Now, why do you think, in the very beginning, that all of you that didn't have, like, an automatic alliance... Floaters. ...did not come together when you guys had the numbers? Because these people are idiots. <laughs> They're idiots. There you go. You had That's what went right wrong. Here. You heard it it's right here. It's a pack here, of folks. idiots living in there. I mean, literally every day I would wake up and I'm like, these are some of the smartest people in here, but yet they're all morons. <laughs> Does anybody want to get an alliance? Pick me. Pick me. Seriously. Uh, so, well, you were trying to form an alliance I, with the floaters? I wanted to. And they were I, all I, scared, like, don't talk to me. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, they I, were can't, like, I, can't, I can't be. It's like everybody, you had a sub-alliance with this person and that person, and you had a sub-alliance with the carpet, and everybody was just like, ah. <laughs> And here I am going, Does somebody want to join my alliance? <laughs> I'm like the young kid that nobody trusted, unfortunately. Uh, okay. 
Okay, the number to call, this is your chance to talk to Diane. It's 323-227-1000. Let's take perhaps one of our youngest callers ever, youngest fans. Uh, let's talk to Heather in Orange County. Hi, Heather. Hi. Hi. Um, I would first like to start off saying that, Diane, you're my favorite player. And um, I'm sad to see you go. Aww. <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> um, my question is, after you were put up on the chopping block the first time, you vowed that if you got to stay in the house, you would play tough. I didn't see much of that going on. Why is that? Wow. Sassy little Wait, ten Heather, year old. How, old, how old are you, Heather? I'm 10. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. He's a smart 10-year-old. Very well spoken. I like this little 10-year-old already. <laughs> I had the spunk at your age. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I did say that, but unfortunately, I didn't think that season six would continue getting head of household for the next two weeks. And when you're the number one target for season six, you can't bring all the attention on you because for some reason you got to cross your fingers and hope they don't put you on the block. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But had I been in there this week five, girl, I would have been your idol, I promised, but <laughs> I had to leave. <laughs> Heather, I had to ask Heather, when you turn 18, Heather, are you going to apply for Big Brother 15? <laughs> I wish. You should. Okay. I wish you should. <laughs> Heather, so now that Diane is gone, is there anybody else? Who was your second favorite in the house? Um, my second favorite was probably Will. Okay, got to go. Oh, no, I like you, Heather. Uh, I she's like young. You. She's young. She doesn't know what she's talking Heather, about. Heather, thank you so much for the call. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> Wow. I know. Ten I know. years old. Smart. She said vowed. I didn't even know the word vowed until I was 20. I know. <laughs> Smart. You are growing up faster. Wow, Heather. Just put you right on the spot. Little investigative reporter. You promised this. I didn't see any of that. Where's your follow through, Diane? Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go to Illinois and talk to Jeremy. Jeremy, have you got a question for Diane? Yeah, I have a two-part question. Sure. First of all, let's say congratulations, Diane, to actually making it to the All-Star season. Oh, That's right. Thank you. Thank you. First thing I'd like to say is that you were my third favorite one of the girls, yeah. only outranked by Erica and Janelle, since, you know, they seem to play like you. Yeah. My question to you is simply this. Had you been not affected last night and you actually won the H Wage competition with the spider web, yep. who would you put up on the shopping block and why? Um, not even a question. You could have handed me that box right after I got <laughs> off the web. Um, there would be no key for Janelle and there would be no key for Kaser. And I only say that because I think they're kind of the two brains of the Season 6 Alliance, and if you put both of them up, one of them's guaranteed to be gone. Well, another person you also would have should go after would have been Will, because Will's also a sneaky Pete. Yeah, Will's sneaky, but unfortunately, Will would have worked with me probably quite so far in the game until the end of it when we all would have just cut each other's throats. So you really think you could have trusted Will? Um, Not trust, but to a certain extent, yes. And you didn't find him annoying? No. Wow. I'm a big Will fan. Yes, mm. I'm a Will fan I know. too. I know. Bunky no, hates him. Okay. Baby, I love oh. you. <laughs> Look at you. It's I okay, know, I mean, but don't touch me. God love you that you can live with the man and not be annoyed by him. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, just everything about him okay. annoys me. And you were there for four weeks. I know. And, I know. Okay. Now, okay. You both have lived with Will. Yes. Yeah. You hate him. You like him. Do you think B Bunky says that he has? Uh, cult mind control capabilities. Will. He absolutely does. But it didn't, didn't it get to you? It oh, has. It has gone to her. Well, that's why she likes him. <laughs> Maybe he, that's he what it is. He is under the spell of willpower. It's the charisma. It's the charisma. It's charisma. I don't, I don't you know. You don't think he's cute, do you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you're okay with, like, no facial expressions? That's cool with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to Maryland and talk to Wally. Wally, have you got a question for Diane? Yes, I do. First off, hi, Gretchen. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, Bunky, too. You're great as well. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Welcome. No problem. No problem. I'm a fan of BB, uh, uh, Big Brother 6, but um, they did you dirty, Diane. I know. They did you so dirty. So dirty. Um, it's a, such a raw deal. Yeah. But uh, my question is, do you think Marcel is going to actually have the courage to, def uh, to go after Season 6? Um, honestly, like, Marcellus, I love you to death, but... I, I think he's going to do whatever can protect him at the time. And if they get back into power, then no. But 
I know he wants to, and if the opportunity arises, I know he will, but at the same time, he's got to protect himself, and I don't think he's the guy in the house to make that kind of a ballsy move. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Do you think he would put Janelle up? Um, like this week? Would he put Janelle up? See, the whole Marcellus Janelle thing confuses me, and I don't get it because there, he loves her so much, but yet now this week he hates her, so... I think right. he's being two-faced. I, I think he's just saying he hates her to win both sides. He wants to keep both sides I don't happy. No, it seemed like he did. Know. It, it seemed like, like he, he did really kind of like... turn on her. Yeah. He called her disgusting. Behind her back. You know him really well. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I think that poor Marcellus. I think that I really like him. He is a good friend, but I don't think he's the best player. I really don't because he's so emotional. Emotional player. So emotional, and I think that. I just don't think that he ever gets outside of his feelings and oh, thinks yeah. just about how you can do this move and this move and this move. And so I so I guess I, I'm saying it could change again, but I believe him when he has turned on, on Janelle right now. Really? I think yeah. it's true. Yeah, I think, that, I think he's really upset about it. Oh, good. I'd love to see him. And, and he should be, though, because... Because that was, I mean, she came after anybody who wasn't in the alliance, and that is a threat, and I think that she's kind of using Marcellus anyway, so yes. I was happy to see him get mad she at her. She absolutely is, and I was happy to see him flip, too. Yeah, <laughs> and it's more fun to watch him flip. We're going to see more of the psycho Marcellus Yay. come out, and I can't wait. I love him. Okay, Diane, we have some questions here for you. Uh, we call these our Super Pass questions. Uh, this is one of the benefits of having the 24-7 live feeds, which if you don't have, you can get them right here at CBS.com. You can watch them sleep, eat, shower, everything. It is your ultim ultimate voyeuristic fantasy, and it's legal, and they've all signed off saying it's okay. So, now, uh, one of the things, if you do have the feeds, is uh, through real networks, we do a Super Pass question of the week. That way, if if you can't get on the line, which they're totally jam-packed, I'll ask your question for you. So here is a question from Elena for Diane. It says, okay, a little wordy here, some of the people, <laughs> but let's just roll with it. <laughs> Diane, funny. you were my favorite house guest. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Janelle targeted you? My theory was she was very jealous of you. Mm -hmm. And what are your plans now? Good luck in the future, and you seemed way too nice to be in there with all the backstabbers. Yeah, I know. Will did probably get that one right in his goodbye thing, too, that bunch of cutthroat people. I, I Maybe I just didn't belong this year. But um, I agree with you. The whole Janelle being jealous thing, absolutely. You know, I'm cuter than her. I'm skinnier than her. And I'm all natural. <laughs> no, but beyond that, I like natural girls. I do. Thanks. Um, Cat fight. <laughs> um, Janelle and I, unfortunately... And this should answer all questions, and maybe we can hit it first, okay. and okay. then we won't have to deal with it again. Go for it. But Janelle and I have outside beef. I tried to kill it while I was in the house. I apologized twice for something that she should be apologizing for me 800 times. Tried to take the higher road. She didn't want to take it. Claws are out, you know? She talked a lot of crap about me on her season. Don't even know the girl. I was right. a big fan. When I confront, when my friends confronted her about it, um, she apologized, but she was intoxicated. Imagine that, <laughs> and having eight other conversations while saying, "Diane, I'm really sorry. I talk crap about you. Um, somebody get me a beer, you uh, know." And right. I, and it was the most insincere apology I've ever heard in my life. And she was just saving face, and she chose to bring it into the game and use it again as a cop out excuse to target me. So, so this has been personal from the get go. Personal. personal. Her emotions get in the way. Personal from day one and she's playing emotionally and unfortunately oh, it's probably going to put her out this week hopefully. I think it is. Soon. I mean she's alienated just about every single person in the house now. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has turned against her. And I her. love that she thinks that that's going to work for her when really it just flipped the house. Yeah. Awesome. And the ladies are leaving and that's not good for anybody. No. Nobody yeah. wants to watch. It's going to turn into a sausage party, I'm telling sausage. you. see just a bunch of guys running around, I mean, fighting, and, you know. Okay, okay, I'll watch. Okay, he'll watch. <laughs> Here's, another, yeah. <laughs> Here's another question from Anastasia. She says, I liked you and Nokomis in an alliance, and would have been fun to watch the both of you. Yeah. Uh, what was your biggest mistake that you could have had control over? And why did you not try to get Chicken George to align with you? Then she says you will be missed, Anastasia. Oh, thanks, Anastasia. Um, yeah, uh, Nokomis, God lover, you know. Um, my biggest mistake as far as the game doesn't have anything to do with Nokomis. Gotcha. It's the fact that this past week I needed that one-fifth vote to stay in the house. And 
I had no idea that Danielle or Marcellus were willing to maybe flip their vote when both of them told me to my face, when I make a promise to somebody, I'm not going to break it, we want to play the loyal game. But yet they were thinking about rallying for me. I had the four votes. I yes! I had that fifth vote, but they told me they would never change. Had I known that, I would still be in that house right now. And Danielle, this last week, made me feel like that she was kind of running against me in a weird way because listen I thought she was campaigning for you yeah, well what do you mean running against you because when I when I first got put on the block replacing Boogie I went into the room to talk to Boogie and maybe see where he was feeling the votes and stuff and Danielle came in and she's like excuse me um, interrupted my conversation said can you give us a second and made me leave my own conversation Don't you hate that? and then walked outside and said look Diane we just can't save you and I was like what? So I thought she was targeting me, and this whole time, like, she was kind of rooting for me. It didn't make any sense whatsoever. Whoa, that is weird. That is weird. Yeah, nothing Cause that, it showed. Because didn't I see something either on a show or the feeds where it was you, Danielle, and Chilltown? And no. no. James, maybe. Oh, maybe. See. So I'm who were your four confused. votes that you pretty sure you had? Um, James. James, Will, um... Then if Boog Will was on board, Boogie would have been on door, door uh, on board. George and um, then okay. either of them. Right. I would have been there. I, I wonder what there. happened though, when when everybody flipped. That's why I was thinking that it would come down to a tie situation. And then I would have been gone for sure. So <laughs> yeah, well, that's well I true. guess that's yeah. true. I yeah. guess that's true. Okay, it's three two three CBS one thousand. Let's take some more of your calls right here in California. Nick, you're on House Calls, the Big Brother Talk Show. It's not a happy Friday for me. Oh, because oh. Diane, you were sitting there, I and I wanted to see you win the HOAs and take out Janelle, <sighs> me too. and Gretchen, and Diane. You guys are both um, gorgeous compared to Janelle. She's got nothing on you guys. Yay! Yay. Two Yay. beautiful women. Two yeah. beautiful women. Natural right girl. So yeah, Yay. natural. And Thank that's you. perfect. You guys are unbelievably beautiful. But mm -hmm. I wanted to tell Diane, I was glad earlier that she said, um, what when she mentioned how, what is she supposed to do, go out and threaten somebody when she doesn't have HOH. And I'm glad she said that because that's my concept. There are no floaters. You can't call somebody out when you don't have the power. Exactly. And then I wanted to say, did she know that Howie and Janelle were after her or were up to something when they put the worms and the glasses on her? Oh, yeah. um, good the question. Power veto. Okay, right? You know, Not I'm, cool. I'm sitting there in the chair, and I've got two nominees next to me, and they're putting everything on me, and I knew instantly that I was going up on the block. Right. Wow. Instantly. And you could, did you guess any of those correct phrases backwards? No, I, get, I couldn't, couldn't even Couldn't see concentrate? It. Couldn't you concentrate. You were tired? You I'm didn't get any sleep? Tired. I've got those worms, like, their claws oh. were, like, pinching you. Claws? Well, their little feet, yeah. and they were climbing up my ankles, and then the one eye patch. I'm oh, I know. Did you have your goggles on upside down? I don't know. Did I? I don't. No, I, but I, it looked. It looked. Cr I felt it so looked bad. A little odd. I After thought maybe they, you had a bad eye or a good eye or something like that. Yeah, you well, had one clear one, one was, and one black. Okay. One was black. Yeah, I, know. I felt so bad because it was in the middle of the night. Yeah. Everything was getting piled on yeah. you, and I have to say, my part broke a little bit when it cut to you after the goggles and the worms because you just were like, everybody said I don't that. Know what to do? I don't know why to see it. Why are yeah. y'all picking on me? Yeah, exactly. So I knew I was going up, and at that point, I'm like, you know, what can I do? You know, I know they're coming after me, but those two were coming after me from day one, so mm -hmm. I was, I was prepared for it. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you, in especially in this All Stars game? Having the, being the only person who's been nominated twice so far yeah. in the first four weeks, do you really, though, take that as a compliment? I take it as a heck of a compliment. Like, obviously, these people view me as, like, the biggest threat. They're not even going after people like Chill Town. Exactly. Hello. Exactly. Hello. I've been saying that all along. You're, like, walking around saying, I'm in an alliance, and we're going to make it to the end of the game, but we want to go home, vote me out, but yet you're letting them stay in the game, and you're picking on me for four weeks straight. So I, I take it as a huge compliment, I guess. A compliment from idiots, because I love that quote. You're right. It's one of my favorite word. Pack of idiots. So Pack of idiots. we will be back. We're going to take a really, really quick break, and then we'll be back with more of your calls. You're watching House Calls, the Big Brother talk show at CBS.com. Welcome back to House Calls, the Big Brother talk show. It's 323-CBS-1000. And uh, today you're talking to Gretchen Bunky and Diane, the most recently evicted all-star from the Big Brother house. So let's go right to some calls. In New York, Vincent, have you got a question for Diane? This is Michael. 
It is? Do you mind if I call you Vincent? That's too casual. You're right. I shouldn't do that. Okay. You gorgeous person. Okay, let's go uh, Michael. Michael. Awesome. Okay, Michael. let's call me Michael. Okay. Uh, Bunky, yeah, gorgeous again. Oh, bless uh, your heart. I'm going to come to New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're all beautiful. Diane, um... You should be happy you're out of there. I mean, I, let's face it. Let's face it. I, is yeah. it any? None of it's worth it. It's, <laughs> it was to the point to where, like, these people were envious of me that I was leaving. I'm like, peace out. Yeah. Didn't you That's say it was I a luxury think. to leave? It was a luxury to leave. It really That's was. That's what I think. Yeah. And as far as, you know, uh, chill town, everybody keeps putting down, uh, you know, George for being dumb. I think Boogie's the stupidest person in the house. Yeah. I love you, Michael, from New York. You're so <laughs> smart. I'm from New York. <laughs> um, yeah, so everybody dumb. keeps saying that, huh, today? That Boogie's, uh, you know... Annoying, stupid. I mean, that's all he's got going for him. Yeah, right. I heard a funny one today that uh, they were calling Dr. Thanks, Evil Michael. Will and... Igor. <laughs> and <it's> Igor. Igor. <laughs> I love that. I heard that today and I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Regina in New York, have you got a question for Diane? Yes, hi. Should I yes, call I'm you on. Michael too? No, we're going to call you <laughs> Regina. Cool. Yeah, I'm Regina. Okay. <laughs> My question is, I'm, I'm not a fan of Diane's. Okay. And I just want to, I'm call. trying to understand being that I am a heavier person that she keeps calling Janelle fat, and it's really offensive to me. I think you're attractive, Diane, don't get me wrong, but I think that's just mean. Uh, well, just I'm me. kind of a mean person. I'm sorry. Take it or leave it with what you will. Apparently, you are very mean. I know. You're kind of mean yourself. Next call, please. All right. Nick. All right, Regina. <laughs> that was our first controversial call. Uncomfortable moments. I'm, I, well, I feel like I'm back in the Big Brother house. <laughs> There's a lot of uncomfortable moments, aren't there? <laughs> yeah. Can we skip those calls? <laughs> Next, please. All right. Let's talk to Scott in California. Saying, comes with the territory, right? Yeah. Oh, it does. Believe yes, me. It does. Yeah, believe me. People I'm call up all the time. I mean, people. Somebody called in here last week to tell me that how the bad things Howie says about me on the feeds, and people call in to say that. I mean, it's so. Believe me, we we like our we like our little hate it's calls. It's kind of fun. Hater it is fun. Everybody loves some haterade every now and then. <laughs> it's good to be polarizing. <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go to California and talk to Scott. Scott, have you got a question for Diane? Yes. Happy Friday, Gretchen, Bunky, and Diane. Happy Thank Friday you to all of you. Hi, Scott. You guys wouldn't believe this. I'm so nervous right now. I'm actually shaking. Just I'm, relax. Like the first time I'm doing this. And it's okay. God. Just relax. We're your friends, it's okay. God. Breathe it. I just got my first mean phone call. I'm a little bit shaken. <laughs> yeah, too. everyone is all shaken up. All right. So, anyway, Diane. Yeah. I'm literally a PO that you got evicted. I mean, I Thank voted you. for you to get back in the house, and now that you're gone, it's I'm I'm shocked that that you're out. But anyway, my question is. Were you surprised that Will voted to keep you in the house? And also, were you surprised that James decided to kick you out? Mm. Yeah, um, not surprised with James' decision because James obviously had to protect himself. And like I said before, I was, you know, it's part of the game. And unfortunately, you got to do what you got to do with it's best for you and with will tossing me a vote uh, again I'm, I'm not really sure he could have done it because he liked me and he wanted to prove that you know he can do what he wants he doesn't care what they think but he also could have done it to like throw people off like he did in the second week no one really knows why I got that vote from will I don't even know but I'd be looking forward to figuring it out you know when he gets out so but you know I appreciate it you know I guess. Scott, that went very well. That went very oh, well. Yeah. I think you should Perfect. start calling all sorts of other things now. Thanks for the call. <laughs> call into radio shows and telemarketing things. 1-900, you can do it. Just do it, Scott. <laughs> oh, Scott. <laughs> okay, let's go to Massachusetts and talk to Brenda. You're on House Calls, the Big Brother talk show. Hi. Uh, Hi. Good afternoon here in Massachusetts. Good afternoon. Gretchen, Bunky, Diane. Hi. Bunky, I think you're right on the money as far as Will being a mind games and he's he's good at brainwashing and diane you should know that because he right. worked janelle over and over and over and uh i don't think that you uh were as much a personal target as you think i think mm -hmm. that danielle kind of got uh, danielle sorry janelle kind of got 
conned into thinking she was playing strategically by getting you out. By will. Yes, by will. Right. Less of a personal vendetta, even though that may have been there. Thank you for the call. Yeah. Underlying, but that he did actually, when, when you get to watch the shows, you will see that he really did sort of corner her and just keep going and going and going. He kept going back in and talking he to He did, Fidel. and he kept going yeah, back, and she bit. would go, well, I don't know, and I don't... And he would just, he would do that little thing, and he would be like, well, this and this and that. And you could see her brain start to go, you know, like you could see it start to bend. You really could. Yeah, and so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, what was his motive? I don't know. But I definitely think that that factored in. No, yeah, I definitely agree. Was he, like, gunning for me personally? He just wanted to keep himself yes. off the block. Yes. That was his biggest right. goal. And I think that it was easy for him to find, a since you guys did have a beef, something else up. it's easier for him to manipulate her because there's already at least, like, that little yeah. kernel there yeah. to, like, make it bigger yeah. and, and do that. And, Absolutely. And, yeah. I, and I know that Will's doing that. And, like, I know that he's a manipulating, mind-warping person, but I like him. And I think <laughs> yeah. it's a good game like strategy. That. It is. I mean, it's going to get him to the it end. It is. It's going to get him to the end. It really is. I wish I would have had it myself. I know. <laughs> God, I always talk a big game. Like, whenever people, whenever I, I speculate as if I were in the house, you know? Right, right. And I always say that, like, I would play like Will. I would just do this and that because I do, he Screw is my favorite over. player. Yeah. But um, I was thinking about that last night. And um, that is just, that is a load of crap, everybody. <laughs> the, I mean, truly. Everything I've ever said, because the more I thought about it, I was like, you were like, mm. I can't do that. Yeah. I wish I could. I wish I could, you like, know. check who I am at the door and go in and be all like, yeah. But um, I'm not a very good liar. It's so And it's easy hard to for me here. to hurt people. It's it's e so we're like Monday here. morning quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. Uh. Trust me. I mean, look, pff, I didn't win the game. But I can sit here and talk about, oh, you're doing it wrong and everything. It's right. like, hello, I if I'm even... so smart, I would have won. I know, and I act like I'd have all these strategies. And the truth is, when I took a tour of the house, I only lasted 20 minutes before I freaked out and needed to get out of there. <laughs> so clearly... So anyway, I just thought I should call myself on that because yeah. I like to talk a big game. Oh, God. Because awesome. it's hard in there, I imagine. Unbelievably hard, People isn't are... it? It's, it's mental warfare, isn't it? You have no idea. You can't it's... sleep, can you? I mean, it's... you just your mind doesn't stop. It's no sleep. It's depression 24 hours a day. You want to sleep just to pass the time. Yeah. And then you can't. <laughs> Bob in New York, have you got a question for Diane? Hey, Bob. Yes. Hello. How's everybody doing today? Great. Right. How are you? I'm doing good. I got a big burst of static there. That's why I didn't hear you the first time. Hey, that's fine. Uh, my question for you, Diane, is that in a way you were playing under the radar, but you weren't under the radar. And if you would have made it past this week, what would have been your game plan for the rest of the game? Good question. Um, so far, just to get Janelle out, but I'd also take out Kaser and Howie. My biggest goal from the if had I stayed was I wanted to be the person to break up the season six alliance and I, I wanted to be responsible for you know making them implode from you know the center out and just see them want to kill each other that would be awesome and then everybody else can just do whatever we can have fair game after that but when you have such an unfair alliance that's already an alliance before yeah. the show even starts it's, yeah it's just not fair for the rest of us and then after we get them out, it's free game for everybody. Yeah. Well, I'm going to upset you because I'm going to call you out on one thing. Okay, okay? call me out. On week two, you were up uh, for eviction, and you're like, I really want to stay, and if I stay, it is on. It you is know? on. And you got to stay, and then I never saw it come on. And then again, last night, you're like, if I stay this time, it is on. You didn't bring it, girl. Wait, this goes on to the, the little How girl that brought, the 10-year-old that brought on the question. I... I when I'm not in power, you can't bring it on because you can't get the attention on you. I'm already... So because you didn't win head of household. And I've got this big bullseye on my back, you and, know. Okay. Hands are tied. Wasn't anything I could do. How long did you think that you would stay in the game from the beginning? Like, if you were just going to be realistic and say, okay, with these people and this group, I'm probably going to be here. Did you think you would win it all? Did um, you think you'd make it to Final Four? I thought that... I thought that I had a pretty good shot to at least making it to sequester, but part of me also thought that I didn't know if I would make it past week one. Wow. Really? With Janelle in the house, I knew she was going to be an instant target, and she's a, she's a 
She's a badass player. So as soon yeah. as they call Janelle's name, you're like, oh, crap. I it don't want to go in the over. house with her, right? Yeah, yeah, when basically. they call Boogie's name and Will's name and Marcella's, I'm like, crap. I don't want to ah! go in the house with no. them. And they're right? like, oh, that's fine. You ain't going in the house. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so, same, thing. same thing. And America voted you in, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, Let me tell you, you how think, long I thought. When did you think Di Diane was going to get evicted? Let's see what, what I thought. Week? Oh, no. is this the prediction? Yes. Yeah, what week she thought but you would But the crazy thing about these, we did this before, I think the last time that you were here, I don't know, but um, where we pick our predictions at the very, very beginning, oh. so based on nothing yet. So keep that in mind. Based on her previous season when she played, you saw how the girl played. Yes. No, it was actually... Good then, <laughs> yes. Let's see Even though. Third, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure I won. thought Diane would stay until week seven. Oh wow, that's uh, an interesting prediction. Week seven. And this is week four? It's week week four. four. Three weeks early. Week no. four. Would have made it to Damn. sequestered jury. Yeah, I would have, could have. But actually, <laughs> it, you know, sequester is normally a great thing that you want to go to. But yeah. this year, you're, there's so many annoying people in the house that I didn't even want to go to sequester at this point. I was like, I think that I got kicked out at the perfect time. Isn't yeah. that amazing? Take some money and run. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Like, I don't want to. I don't even want to be in sequester with these people because they're going to be drunk all the time. Drunk and they're going to be obnoxious. Mess. They're going to be talking yep. about the game. Yep. They're like, shut up. And just leave me alone. Let me just lay on the beach. I hear you, sister. And go away. I yeah. hear you. Mm. Okay, let's go to New Jersey and talk to Peter. Peter, have you got a question for Diane? Yeah, absolutely. I was just wondering, Diane, um, how annoying is Howie to have to deal with with uh, listening to all of his uh, comments and whatnot? Well, <laughs> I like that question. Yeah, you know, at first I tolerated it for like the first week. I'm like, all right, this is like some overgrown 36-year-old man who yeah. was obviously dropped on his head as a child and maybe have a little bit of mental retardation. Oh, I love this woman. I'm not sure. And then week number two, I was like, this is disgusting. He drives me absolutely insane. Week three, I'm like, it's getting worse. And then by week three, he slivered into my bed with Erica and I. And week four, I'm not joking. I would wake up in the morning, look over and see Howie and like literally get nauseous and want to vomit in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does that, does that answer your question? Yes. I mean, what... What Mom. other kind of reaction would a woman have when you I wake mean, up and Howie's the first thing you see? I don't just, think he's that bad. No, never of course you don't. Him. Because here's the problem. <laughs> here's the problem. Because people try to write it off as being cute, but the way he continually hammers and objectifies mm -hmm. the ladies in the house creates a hostile and a totally sexist environment. You and do nobody the same thing about Will. You do the same thing about Will. Just because no. he's cute and he's charming no, no, no. and he's charismatic, no, 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 you no. let him get no, away no, no, with no. murder. No, no, no. Mm. I'll tell you what's different. I will tell you absolutely what's different. He's skinnier and paler. No. People talk, when people are talking about Will, they're talking about his personality, what he does, what he says. That's what you're doing about Howie. No, we're not. No. It, it is, but he, it, no, I'm saying Will is different. Howie just purely objectifies, objectifies, objectifies the women like a piece of meat for his pleasure. And Will does it in a subtle way that you don't see. Why are you okay with Howie? Howie's a big buffoon. <laughs> Howie's good looking. I mean, he really is a good looking guy. He's got a nice guy. body. I His mean, face is neat. If he would just quit talking, you know. Exactly. He has he has potential. I just think he's <laughs> He's like that he's in the afraid. real world too, you know that? Oh, okay. I like I poking stop her. Letting, I, I like know. Poking her. I know. She's fun. All right. <laughs> if you've missed the house, Diane, I think we should take a little look in and see what your former house guests are up to right now. So let's go to the feeds. Oh, really? That's James. Okay. Now, do you think James is cute? I think James is a doll baby. So do I. And what's he, what do you think he's talking to Danielle about? We can't hear the... No. So you have to make... He's like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I didn't get any sleep. And I've uh, got to do my hair. But James, <laughs> you've got you to gotta tell me if my, if my nominations are okay. I really want to put up Howie and Janelle and they both suck real bad. Uh, Danielle, I can't tell you. I really can't promise you anything. I just know i got to get Janelle out um, yeah. because she's dead. But here, she's we long. got the votes for you. For, no. <laughs> gonna, That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God bless him. Uh, let's go to Virginia and talk to Dave here on House Calls, the Big Brother talk show. Good morning, Gretchen, Bunky. Good morning. Uh, Diane, all your friends at dianehenry.com are very sad today to see you on House Calls. I know. Thanks. But, of course, we're always happy to see you anywhere, really. <laughs> Yay, thank you. My question, uh, last night you said you're going to go spend a couple of weeks at home. Have you talked to Twin 2 or Debbie yet? And have you started thinking about what's next for Diane? I have. I've 
they were my first two phone calls as soon as I got to the hotel last night. And uh, are these family members, friends, or something? My mom and my oh, sister. Okay. Uh, my twin. Twin sister. Oh. Yep. And I am. I'm catching a plane tonight um, to Cincinnati, and you know that's to see my family. But more importantly, the Bengals have a scrimmage tomorrow. Cincinnati <laughs> got to make it home in time for the football game. <laughs> sister will come next. No, but. Uh, Yes, I'm going to spend a couple weeks at home. I'm coming back to L.A., and I've got some things lined up and a few maybe agencies that want to talk to me, and I'm going to go see what they say. And cool. So you're a struggling actress like no, a lot of us? No, no. No? I'm not sure. If Part-time act actress? No, I don't know if acting period is what I want to do, like hosting or maybe just something in the entertainment business. I just don't know what. Okay, okay. And, and you I have don't an even, agent? Um, you're looking for an agent? No, I never even thought about getting an agent, but, okay. you know, my friend called me, and she's like, you know, people have contacted me, and they uh, want to talk to you. Good for you. So I there guess I'll see what they say. I so your know. plans are to take the world by storm. I'm taking over Tinseltown. You go, girl. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, uh, from right here in Los Angeles, let's talk to Joanne. You're on House Calls. Hey, how are you, everybody? Hi, Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Oh, I love the show. It's just so great. Nice. Um, my question is, Diane, I don't mean to bring up old wounds, but you just... I really just kind of fell in love with the love you and Drew shared on your season. And yeah, I really too. felt personally stabbed in the back when, when he kind of tossed you over for Cowboy. And then I remember <laughs> watching some kind of reunion show, and you looked so sad. And I just kind of want to know, whatever happened with Drew, the pig that he is, <laughs> and, and how did you deal with all that after the show was over? I imagine it was just a lot of disappointments at once. Tell, tell me a little bit about what happened. Well, you know, like everybody can say it, um, it's a cycle of emotions that you go through um, from disappointment to anger to aggression to accept acceptance, but that's the long last one. And um, Drew and I had so many long talks about it, and instantly outside of the house we knew that we weren't nothing. We, oh, we could really? just tell it wasn't going to work. We, you know, we stayed together for a couple months in hopes that and, and we did like each other but it just wasn't there we had long talks he told me that yes you would have won the game and i know that i had to put you out wow. and all this stuff and you know it took me a long time to accept it and to forgive him and to stop hating him so passionately and now i adore him and i adore his oh. brother even more and we're very good friends wow. oh, that's good oh, and that's, that's a real sign of maturity that's so that's healthy that is. Is. Well, what can you have say? you been through therapy <laughs> good for you i know but apparently i should be a therapist or something but uh, i don't give drew enough credit because i just want to say that i I did trash him quite a bit for a while <laughs> and even a couple times on the show but he knows it's all in you know, just fun, and I, I want to give Drew the credit that he deserves because what I realized in these past four weeks on the All-Star Show is that I was so lucky to have him on my season because he made the experience for me great on season five, and then when you're alone by yourself and you have nobody, it's the worst feeling in the world. I mean, you said very, you know yeah, that, too. Very lonely feeling. It's so sad. So, Drew, thank you for being there with me on season five, Aww. even though you dumped me at the end. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take one more call before we have to take another break. We're going to go to Oregon and talk to Bonnie. Bonnie, you're on House Calls. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Bonnie. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask Diane, um, you know, I really enjoyed you on, on the show this year, uh, more so than I think the last time, but I think there's a little more maturity or something. But I was just wondering if you think maybe that the crying helped you stay in the house uh, the first time that you were up on the block. Against Nicole. Or... Good question. I know. Listen, like, um, I have never been put on the block as a serious, you know, I'm putting you up because you're a threat to me. And it was really hard. It's scary, isn't it? It's the scariest thing in the world. And I cried, and I was a big baby, and I was so <laughs> mad at myself for showing that emotion. And then afterward, I'm like, oh, these people are going to think maybe I was doing it on purpose, and I wasn't. And then in the long run, yes, I think it helped me, unfortunately, for Nokomis. Well, because it, um, like, I know I had said that when you, people crying like that can yeah. be a passive way to manipulate someone. Yeah, yeah. Because people don't know what to do when people are crying. But then I can understand the other aspect, which yeah. would be, and the, and the reason I say this is that I'm the sort of person who, like if my key won't fit into my door the first try, yeah. I can lose it some days. You know, right. I can. And right. I and like I'll just like crying it's is really my reaction yeah. to things, whether I'm happy, sad, wow. excited, angry, like crying is kind of and when I first met my husband, he would often say, You are you are manipulative with your crying oh. and I would explain 
no, I'm just severely emotionally unbalanced. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. some women just cry. So with you, I speculated both ways because initially I was like, oh, she's doing it. She's doing a passive aggressive campaign. Strategy. She's crying. But then part of me was like, oh, maybe she's like you and she just cries at stuff. You need a no, I, well, I'd like to say that I was PMSing that week, just to say for the record. <laughs> and that makes a big difference. It, it makes a huge difference. But I would, I would never cry to manipulate anybody. It's just I not would. me. I would. <laughs> Whatever works, you know. But I, I did cry a lot this season, more so than I thought I would, and it's kind of embarrassing. Along those lines of the crying and using ways of getting people on your side, I heard a rumor that possibly you were trying to get Howie to uh, vote to keep you. In oh you yes, promise? then I was gonna let him yes. grab my butt and your boobies, he boobies can and boobies. butt. Oh, was I that a deal? Did you strike a deal with him? Oh yeah, I was wheeling okay. and dealing anything I could that way. Um, and this is how I said I. Are you kidding? We, us girls go to the bars all the time. How many times has a guy like grabbed your ass in a bar and you're like, you know, whatever? I uh, know, I hate no. that. I, I go crazy though. I don't I do. know. I, I don't go know crazy. If I, I'm a bit of a feminazi, but I'm telling you, if anybody feminazi. touches me, you will get a drink in your face, and you'll be lucky if the glass doesn't yes. cut you in the eye. Yeah. yeah. I don't just go grabbing people. You, I, I will cut you. I don't know why I'm feisty today. I'm feisty. <laughs> I like it. I don't know if I would have followed through with it. I would have promised him again, my firstborn child, had he kept me in the house. Oh yeah. Like, Sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely. Putting you on the block next week. Whatever you got, you got to use it. You yeah. Know? Right. At that point, I was willing to do anything. So. Howie's a big dumb idiot. I, I was trying anything. I hear you. The only words he knows are boobies and butt. So. And Jedi. And the Jedi Alliance. That's lame. That is lame. <laughs> so lame. Woo. lame -o. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're going to take one more really, really quick break. Um, the number, though, to call during this break, 323-CBS-1000. We still have some time left with Diane, so hopefully Yay. we can take your questions. We'll be right back after this. Okay, welcome back to House Calls, the Big Brother talk show at CBS.com. If this is your first time tuning in, House Calls is here Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, talking about Big Brother, Big Brother, Big Brother, Big Brother. It's all Big Brother. Big all brother. the time. Okay, uh, in Canada, Renee, you're on the House Calls. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hi, Diane. I just wanted to say on your season, you were great to watch. Mm -hmm. um, this season, I felt like the fight wasn't really there. Mm -hmm. um, my question is about Erica. What do you or people think of her in the house? Is she on anybody's radar? I don't think she is. I think she might win. She's really boring to watch. <laughs> but um, also, what do you think of her jumping off as soon as Howie fell off to give Danny the HOH? Like, she immediately threw herself off the web. Yeah, see, I don't know much about the whole web thing. I'm glad you told me because I had no idea. Um, as far as your question earlier, like, the people in the house have made it clear that they know Erica's strategy, that they know what she's doing, but she could very well go to the end if people keep putting her off like they do Chicken George. Um, people like that win the game. Um, but she's sneaky. I don't think she's really aligned up with anybody. She's just jumping from boat to boat to boat. And... Um, so she jumped off the web after... We can't talk about it, can we? Oh. Well, it, no, it played yet. out on the feeds, though, so I think people will know. And I know at the end they said go to the feeds if you want. But um, I didn't go to the feeds, so I don't know who won this morning. I'm going to have to watch on Sunday. Yeah. Dan oh, the HOH? Yeah. I Danielle I did. Ah. I think we could talk about it, but okay. Ah. <laughs> All right, so that'll be interesting. I don't know if we can talk about that, but I mean... The first, well, that'll be cool, though. It'll be the first person not in Season 6, um, Yes, finally. Season 6 is going up this week. Huh, that will be interesting. We all have to tune in and watch that play I out. Can't wait. <laughs> Revenge. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go back to New York and talk to Carrie Lee. Carrie Lee, you're on the line. Hi. Um hi Diane. Hi. Great to see you or you know, talk to you. Hi. But um I just wanted to ask you, now that you're out of the house, if you could choose one person to win, um, who would it be and why? Ooh. Good question. One person? Ouch. Um I would have to say I would like to see James win the entire show. Wow. Not Chicken George. N um, no, not, I love Chicken George, and he would be my second choice, but I, I just, I really like James. He's not afraid to be ballsy. He's not afraid to sit back and let people do his dirty work. He's playing all aspects of the Big Brother show. He's telling the truth to some people, lying to others, and I think it takes all of that to win a show, and... Um, I just adore him. and Is he a nice guy? Yeah, he's a, he's he is a very nice. sweet guy. Didn't you think he's angry and bitter? He gets bitter a little bit too easy, and that's the part about him I don't like. Like when Chicken George is on the block. He's got a bit of that anger streak. Yeah. yeah, like Chicken 
George went for that veto, and he won that good for Chicken George, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. And for, and for you know him to be angry about him winning that didn't make sense to me. So, yeah, I think he's kind of a sorry loser. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sore loser, huh? Sore loser, but he is one of my favorites, and I would like to see him win. Cool, very is there, cool. Is there any a time when James is, like, laughing and joking around and being goofy? Have you ever seen that? Um, he's pretty serious. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. He's pretty serious, though. Yeah, but every now and then he'll crack a joke, and you'll be like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. You're kind of funny. Oh, okay. Every now and then. Hey, um, have you ever seen this chicken suit of Chicken George's? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I just, listen, he brought it, but it... He brought he it did. into the house? No, oh, I, okay. they have it, and if he gets HOH, I think they might give it to him. Oh, but no. Oh, I hope that happens. I haven't seen the chicken suit, but if he's willing to wear tinfoil, then I imagine yeah. he's going to be super excited to put that chicken suit on. I love that he likes to make himself costumes. I love Chicken George for all those reasons. I think he's eccentric and fun, and I'm hoping if he wins HOH, the room will be made into a chicken coop. I know it isn't, but I so think it should it be. It so will be. And if they don't do it, God. when he comes here to be interviewed, I'm turning this into a chicken. Ah. having a chicken. Chicken coop. Oh, that'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be fun? It'd be crazy. Monkey's Monkey. Like, <laughs> You're just no. like, can you just sit down and take some I'm calls, taking Gretchen? that week off. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going back to New York. Talk to Robin. Robin, you're on house calls. Hi. Hi, Diane. I wasn't a real big fan of yours uh -huh. in the beginning. That's, that's fine. But um, what did you put? I mean, you didn't really have anything to put on the plate. You didn't show anything. You didn't win anything. So why are you bashing everybody else? Um, I can't. I can't. Um, um, wait. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Let it go, girl. Just say uh, it. I just lost my whole train of thought. Um, Don't filter. <laughs> unfortunately, when you're on the block and you're being unfairly targeted by a girl that has a personal vendetta on you, you know, I'm going to bash you. You know, you can either A, play the game strategically or you can be play it personally and if you want to play it personally I'm gonna bash you in the same right that you're bashing me mm -hmm. so that's where the bashing comes into hand why I can't bring anything to the plate again people are you not listening to me when I tell this to you hands tied behind the back I've got this bullseye on the back of my head and season six is in power four weeks in a row and guess who they want out every four weeks it was a fight for me to stay day to day to day I'm not gonna be loud and obnoxious because that's what kicked Jace out so early so I did what I could to stay in as long as I could, and I made it as far as I can. Go me. You are yes. constantly on the defensive. You are constantly never on the on offensive. offensive. Right. I'm not going to run around screaming bloody murder because I'm just going to put me out quicker. I got to lay low and hope that nobody wants to put me up and then do the damage. Then Once you get stuff. the power. Right. Doesn't that make sense? Doesn't everybody know Makes that? Makes sense to me. Get with the program, people. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Right. Okay. Next and then question. in terms of any bashing, isn't that kind of what the game is? I mean, you know. It's all every, about bashing. Everybody it, wants to bash. It's fun. And it is a game <laughs> it is of a game. gossip. It, it is, is a game. game of he said, she said, everybody so said. and so said, I heard so and so, I'm reading lips, right. they said. That's all that it is, is a bunch of lip service. So and backstabbing and, and backstabbing manipulating. And, and, and all I have to whatever. say is thank goodness the house isn't full of Pollyanna nice people that never say anything because that nice is no fun. Is, nice, nice is good in certain situations, but not on TV. That was serious. Season one. That was season one. Was that it? was boring. And that yeah. wasn't good in ratings, right? No. Yeah, no, that was bad. That's right. bad. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take our very last call. Nope, we're going to take the last two here. Oh, okay. Let's go to Mississippi and talk to Zena. Zena, have you got a question? Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi Zena. Um, the reason why I'm calling is that um, you were saying that Erica isn't aligned with anyone, and she's aligned with Boogie. They're dating outside of the house. Are they? No. What? Yes, that last night they were talking about them going out dancing together. All the friends that they've met of each other, they're together. Because they both live in L.A., right? Yeah. I know I've run into Boogie, I and don't then I know. Get that. No, but Erica just got dumped by a five-year boyfriend. Yeah. Josh from season one. Josh from season one, which right. we, most of us know personally, and and um, he's cute, and he's no Boogie. She's heartbroken from that. Like, yeah. exactly. I, I mean, you guys they, see how skinny she is on TV. That's because she hasn't eaten because she's, she's, she's so depressed. depressed. So I can't imagine she would jump into a relationship. But if that's true, that would be crazy. Yeah. But have you seen I have Erica seen them. with? Boogie? Yeah. Boogie in the house? Are they, they acting were in like bed together last night? Wow! So last, last night, night, okay. In, last action? night, were they talking about the future of possibly going on a date and they dancing? They were talking about the past. The past. Ooh, thanks for bringing that Ooh. up. I don't know. Erica, I know nothing of this. 
<laughs> we'll have to watch the feeds now and oh, see if we can nasty. overhear anything. Oh my God. She's kept that hidden. People in the house don't realize that Erica has a thing with Boogie. That but could be a good she? thing for her. That's oh. a Mr. and Mrs. Smith right there. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, That's the Mr. there's Mrs. the real Smith. Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Smith. Oh my God, I have something to investigate now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> live feeds. A reason to watch and watching feeds. the live feeds. Are you really? Yeah, my sister's already got it, so when I go home, I'm going to be on it for the next two weeks. Isn't that going to drive you crazy? Uh, I'm kind of interested to see. It's fun. You, know, you kind of watch, but you want to watch, but you don't want to watch? I'm not going to watch that much, obviously, because right. I'm not, but, you know, when I'm at home before I go to bed, I'm going to get on and see what they oh, do. Oh, yeah. Nobody anyway. talks till late night anyways, so you got to stay up late. I couldn't do it. Okay, very last call on today's show, coming oh, from wow. Illinois. Leonard, you're on House Calls. Hey, Diane. Hey, guys. Hi, hey. Leonard. Hey, listen, I had a question. If they do like they did last year and do America's Vote Back In, Diane, would you go back into the house? I would Ooh. I would absolutely 100% go back into the house because second time around, you have got nothing to lose. Absolutely not. And I would True. tear stuff up. And people are like complaining that I can't bring anything to the plate. Well, if I could get another chance, I'd bring it this time. Guess would what? you shave your head? I would not shave my head. To go back in? No. Guess what Jay said? What? If they gave him 25000 he would go back in. He has to have 25000 to go back in the house. Can you believe that? So that's, that's not going to happen. The most retarded thing I've ever heard. Okay. Crazy, huh? So yeah. you wouldn't shave your head. Yeah, weird. No. If you were in the... Okay, this week when you were up on the block yeah. and you say it was the same veto competition that George yeah. won, how yeah. far would you have gone? Yeah. Um, I would have stopped at the veto part for the... F no. For the Even to save week? yourself? Um, if you were, if on, you the were on the block. If you were on the block, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go to the veto, but I, I couldn't shave my head. Really? No, I couldn't. Because wow. chances are I'd be head. kicked out the following week. You would? Yeah. Oh. But I almost shaved my head once for like three grand but to go I like on a weird <laughs> hair. A weird pilot of a TV show or something. Because I was like, why not? Okay, no, but that's different. I might do that. You would do that? <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe. G.I. Jane could be cool. Exactly. G.I. Diane. I thought it might be kind of fun to be bald and I would look just like my husband and my co-host. Well. <laughs> that's just creepy. All right, fine. Mm. Then uh, we won't do it. Sounds like that. Uh, I believe B uh, Bunky will not be here Monday. We're wrapping no. up the show. Mm -hmm. You will not be here Monday. However, I do believe we have um, Lisa. Wow. Mm -hmm. Winner of Big Brother Season 3. three. three. Season three. She will be here with me Monday. Then we'll have Bunky back for another week. Diane, hey. thank you so much. Thank Very you so well. much thank for coming you. in. Thank you, Thank guys. you. You've been a great awesome. sport. Thanks. And I'm awesome. glad. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I know. Good. So everybody, you know that, of course, you must tune in to see what happens with the HOH competition on Sunday night at CBS at 8 o'clock. And meet us right back here Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Thank you very much for watching House Calls, the Big Brother Talk Show.